<laughs> it looked bad. All these veterans sleeping. The American heroes. So at one Douglas point MacArthur time. ordered the tear gas thing, and when I was a kid, that looked rotten to me. Okay, then I realized something else. When, were you guys ever in the army? No. Oh, when they draft you for the army, you put up your life for this country. They should draft all the war industries so no one makes a buck out of war. Then it's real. But if I sell submarines and battleships, machine guns, I become a multi-millionaire. Then war is slanted. Do you understand? Total conscription. So people in the war industries don't make any more than the soldiers. And the government conscripts those industries, then after the war it gives it back. So no one makes a buck. Then it's free. Yeah. War is a you business. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If you talk to soldiers, don't tell them that they're fighting for oil, they think you're unpatriotic. Just tell them about total conscription. That'll turn them around fast. Another thing, I work for aircraft companies. Uh, and uh, a friend of mine was a pilot in World War I. And he told me he flew over German munition dumps and was ordered not to bomb it. He flew over eight times the Krupp munition dumps. He was right over it. He was ordered not to buy it. He couldn't understand that. It was after the war. I'm sure you heard of Fortune magazine. Mm -hmm. They did publish Arms and the Men, showing how DuPont had holdings in I.J. Farben, a German company. So he was ordered not to bomb it. I've actually read that. Oh, I'm glad. I read that in a David Icke right. book. That makes it impossible for them to control you. If you understand these things, the average soldier knows nothing. I mean nothing at all. Mm -hmm. And he gets out there with these patriotic notions about bringing democracy. We've never had a democracy. Oh, that's bullshit too. In a democracy, if you can accept this, our president would criticize another country for as long as he wanted, say an hour and a half. And we would say, are you through? And he says, yes. Anything else you want to add? No. Then we would invite the Prime Minister of that country on the air for an hour and a half. That's democracy. Mm -hmm. Then I invite the Prime Minister of Sweden. So they're both full of shit. This is how I say it. That's a democracy. When you've got religion on the air only, there's something wrong with your culture. It has to be atheism, agnosticism, all different religions, but you turn it on or off, that's a democracy. Have you ever seen that? You might have a liberal station here, and mm -hmm. but you don't have a democracy. Another person said to me, uh, well, I believe but in then, the But couldn't you use radio as a basis saying that, yes, we do have a, some sort of a democracy because you can flip the stations and you will hear but it's all genre, the, you will hear talk radio, you will hear something else that's not all the same? It's all the general, it's all the same general, broad, I mean, perspective, you know? It's not like... Yeah, uh, yeah, because being advertised probably by the same people. I mean, I mean, you can call them different, but it, is, it, it all sort of falls whole, along the same. On the whole, this system sings the American song. Mm. On the whole, there else, are yeah. a few stations. I definitely agree with that. Uh, but anyway, you guys can work out your differences. So, a person said to me, will I be able to participate in the future society? I believe in participatory democracy. I said, did you vote for the space program? Did you have anything to do with it? He said, no. Did you vote for the layout of our highways, freeways, schools, capital building, uh, anything at all, airline regulated? No. Where do you participate? I just don't know. The guy said, well, I voted for the... You didn't. They pick the yeah. guys you vote for. Yeah. They're selected by democratic clubs and all that sing the song of the institution. But they don't, they don't say, I want my next door neighbor. Seems like a nice guy. If he doesn't have the money to participate, he can. So industry puts up most of the money, and you have to sing their song when you get in. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So in a true democracy, all kinds of points of view are on the air. The average person, all kinds of things. And the public, um, gee, never heard so many ideas. If you had a democracy, you had like 4,000 political parties. 
Do you understand what I mean? You couldn't have a Democrat, Republican. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway, we don't have a democracy because I don't think, I don't know you, but I don't think you drive the kind of car you want to drive. You drive what you can afford. Is that true? We drive what's best for my family, actually. Size-wise, fuel efficiency. You don't live in the kind of house you want to live in. You live in what you can afford. Yes. So in a democracy, being a Democrat, you still don't have a democratic selection of what you want, unless you live in a resource-based economy, where everyone has access to whatever they need. Now, I spoke at Princeton about this, and a young kid got up and said, I, I dislike your system intensely. I said, I can't do anything with that unless you tell me what it is you don't like about it. He said, you want to give people things for nothing, and I'm against that. So I said, were you born in America? He said, yes. You got the railway, the telephone, television, radio, all that for nothing, just being born here. You didn't work on it. Does that spoil you? He said, yeah, but I think if you give people things for nothing, it will kill incentive. So I said, I've got to ask you a personal question. Are you paying your way through college? He said, well, my dad is. Does that spoil you? There's enough for nothing. When a woman marries a wealthy guy, she's got servants, a new car, just by marrying a wealthy guy. She, isn't, she gets it for nothing. Nobody ever questions that. Now, if you're screwing around with two women at the same time, you're called Don Juan by men. If women screw around with two guys, they're tramps. Who wrote the book? The men. Probably. They're, they're full of shit, too. So, the country you live in is rotten to the core. So is all other countries. I'm not upholding this one. So this kid, I said to him, do you really believe people ought to not get anything for nothing? He says, yes. I says, I understand you. Your father is loaded. He's a rich guy. Kid says, yes, he is. When he dies, you want his money to go to the heart fund and the cancer fund not to you, because you don't believe. He said, just a minute. Well, they laughed him off the platform. It's a stupid guy, you know. Not well-rounded. So, will people lose their incentive if they're give, given things for nothing? You're born on the earth, a beautiful land, all for nothing. And you hunted animals, all for nothing. And then we loused up the environment, dumped nerve gas and radioactive material into the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. I don't know if you know this, 45 years ago the Army dumped 65 tons of nerve gas off the coast of Miami near the Gulf Stream. Did you know that? No, I did not. Did you? I heard a little something well, about if you, that. If you don't know these things, it's rough for me. But you can look it up. You've got an internet, yes. you've got a laptop, look it up. I don't want you to take my word for anything. Uh, so. There used to be in Santa Barbara, California, a group of college professors that started the Center for the Study of Democratic Institutions. The literature that they put out was that the United States, this is like 20 years ago, is the most corrupt country in the world at that time. That's the literature they put out. Uh, they, of course they fell, but they became unpopular. Yeah, I can imagine yeah. so. so I just want you to know what happens. Now, I, I I'm going to repeat some of these things to the other people, but that's not going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just wanted you to know that the things I talk about have nothing to do with what I'd like personally. Uh, they have to do with, years ago I said, I, can you design a society that has minimum corruption, uh, minimum th uh, payoffs, you know, so you have to do away with money, otherwise it won't work. Because we pay off senators, you know, I don't know if you know this, if a corporation puts a lot of money, gets you in power, you've got We're to take care of it. Yeah. yeah. So, it won't work. So, uh, I want to do away with the money system. Here's what that means. If both you guys are stranded on an island, say your ship sunk, and he has ten million dollars, you have diamonds, gold, jewels, and the island has no water, no fish, and no arable land. You have nothing. Do you understand that? 
You're going to have to believe money is everything.